hello children welcome back to another session of your computer class so today we are going to learn about the topic language processors from the word language processor itself it is clear that it is connected to computer languages so let's learn how is it connected to computer languages and the working of the same so before learning what is language processor i would like to discuss an example which matches the function of language processor consider this person who knows only hindi and this one the other one who knows only english so if they need to communicate to each other they need a mediator or a translator who knows both hindi and english right likewise a computer understands only machine language you have learned in the last class right so a computer understands only machine language but human being doesn't understand that they are comfortable with english language or some other language so there should be a mediator to convert this high level language to machine language so the software which is used to translate high level language program to machine level language is called as language processor or a language translator so i repeat a language translator is a program that converts the source code to object code which means source code is the high level language and the object code is the low level language that is machine language okay so a translator's work is to convert source code into object code so the types of language processors are divided into three they are assembler compiler and interpreter so let's learn one by one so let's get started with assembler so the translator program which is used to convert an assembly language into machine language is called as assembler okay so the translator program which converts assembly language into machine language is trans, uh, assembler and the code written in assembly language is called as source code and the code which is converted into machine code where after putting it on the assembler is called as object code so this is all about assembler so the next language processor which we are going to discuss is interpreter so what is an interpreter the translator program which is used to convert high level language into machine level language is called as interpreter okay so if you are converting a high level language into machine level language we use interpreter you can see the picture of the same high level language is converted into object code that is machine level language using a interpreter the translator program which is used to convert a high level language into machine level language is called as interpreter okay so let us learn how does an interpreter work an interpreter translates line by line you can see here first line is read then converted into machine code sorry object code and then executed then it comes to the second line then it will be read then converted into object code then executed okay so this procedure repeats for the remaining instructions and if any errors are found if any errors are there in any of the instructions it has to be removed immediately then only we can uh, do the sorry then only it comes to the next instruction to be executed okay and this converted object code is not getting stored anywhere interpreter programs are preferred for beginners the one who is learning the programming for them it is preferred why because it is slow in execution speed compared to other language processor so this is all about interpreter the next language processor is compiler okay so the translator program which is used to convert high level language into machine level language is called as compiler 
same like interpreter compiler is also a converter of high level language but there is a difference between compiler and interpreter okay so we we'll learn that in the next slide uh, so this is how a compiler work high level source code is converted into object code using the converter or language processor compiler the definition of interpreter and compiler is same right it converts high level language into machine level language but there is a difference okay there is a difference what is the difference between a compiler and an interpreter a compiler translate the whole program at once it will not translate line by line interpreter translates line by line but compiler will not do that at once it translates the whole program okay once it is translated into object code you get the list of errors from the whole program then you can correct the errors after correcting the errors if any errors are there after correcting that the whole program is executed so this is how a compiler works since the whole program is being read and executed this compiler is much more faster than interpreter so this is all about compiler so this slide is a nutshell of the difference between compiler and interpreter compiler converts the code at the time at once it converts the code but interpreter converts the code line by line compiler is faster than interpreter interpreter is slower than compiler compiler requires more memory okay but interpreter requires only less memory compiler errors are displayed after entire program is checked but in interpreter errors are displayed for every instructions if any next the example of compiler using programming languages are c c++ java and interpreter the examples of the languages which use interpreter as the converter is gv basic gw basic and python so this is all about the difference between compiler program and interpreter program which is used for the conversion of programming languages high level programming languages so we are done with today's session children not only today's session we are done with the chapter categories of computers and computer languages i hope you are clear with all the concepts discussed uh, if any doubts please do consult me and clarify the same so thank you